note on what we talk about when we talk about love by Raymond Carver uh, famous uh, because um, for me and I'm sure others uh, heard about it in uh, Birdman um, a film which won the, um, quite a number of Academy Awards <clears throat> where the characters Michael Keaton, Edward Norton uh, move around this uh, story by Carver. It is about love in, in its extreme forms, presented in two stories told by Mel. Uh, in the audience uh, there is uh, Teresa, Terry, his second wife, Laura and Nick. Uh, friends of theirs. Um, so um, uh, Terry, Teresa, uh, has had a, a relationship with a man called Ed, uh, who according to some, to some definitions really uh, loved uh, this woman. Uh, there is a character in Thomas Mann who says that you can find love only in uh, fiction, in novels, uh, and art. Uh, in real life, uh, you don't have people uh, with such strong feelings. Yeah, well, th this is one such case. And then we have, I would say, another. Uh, alas, <laughs> this extreme form of affection is violent. So the man is um, really uh, ready to uh, use force um, to show his uh, powerful uh, emotions. Uh, so he drags uh, Terry, Teresa, around the house. Her head is banged against the table in the process. And when the relationship is over, uh, he's threatening uh, Mel. He's calling his office. Mel is a, a surgeon, a doctor. And he's on standby for medical emergencies. So. Uh, this Ed calls and says he has to talk to the doctor and when they put him through he says something like you son of a bitch uh, you, you leave your last days and Mel is um, afraid uh, when he's going at night for other real emergencies uh, that this man will uh, just jump from a bush or from behind the car and attack him with a gun or so. Um, after this per per period of tension and uh, fear, uh, Ed, man crazy in love, uh, really crazy in love, uh, tries to commit suicide and uses red poison, which destroys his gums with the effect that now he looks like a vampire. He survives, obviously. He still uh, kicks about, uh, looking as a vampire. And there's a second, also bungled, uh, attempt. This time he uses the gun to shoot himself in the mouth. There's a f second, so to say, failure for the people here, people around here, uh, call for help. And he arrives at the hospital where Mel, working there, uh, can see the man who has his head uh, grown to twice the normal size. And he says, uh, I didn't want to see something like that. Uh, Terry should, I felt Terry should not see him. I still think Terry should not see uh, this guy. Uh, who won the argument? Uh, asks Laura. Well, I was near him when he died, uh, says uh, uh, Terry, who obviously felt sorry for, for the dying man. And um, uh, he never recovered. 
his consciousness. There's a second example coming from the same male. He speaks about an accident. In the accident, a young man took uh, had taken the uh, pickup truck of his father, um, hit the car in which there was a couple. And the young driver died on the spot. But the couple in their 70s survived. Uh, there were a lot of injuries, uh, concussion, uh, lesions, uh, uh, broken limbs and plaster, like you see, I think he says, like you see in the movie. But they work on Mel 2, a team of um, doctors and uh, medical assistants um, work and they um, have uh, success and the two recuperate. But the interesting thing is that after many days and the long suffering, uh, they see the man is um, depressed and when asked, why are you depressed? It's the, the injuries and all this. And he says something like, no, it's because I cannot see with this plaster, you know, the, this hole I have in the plaster, does not allow me to see my wife. Now, consider this, that's real affection. <laughs>